And you know how like sometimes when you and I, you get into an argument and it's like after the fact, you're like, damn, I should have said this. Hello, people. Now, even though it is freezing, you guys know I had to come and give you my weekly dose of Sandra Said What? Uh, welcome to my channel again. You're watching an advice vlog. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And it's crazy here. I actually so crazy it kind it snowed in Florida. That's how cold it's been. But um, I still wanted to do. Actually, this is a do-over. I don't know if you saw the other video, the um, Donald Trump comment video. And you know how like sometimes when you and I you get into an argument, and it's like after the fact you're like, damn, I should have said this. Yeah, I should have said that. And I'm allowed to change my mind, so I'm redoing this video. If you didn't see the other one, don't worry about it. I'm going to recap on everything. And, yeah, I'm just, afterwards I was just like, nah, I think I got, I got something to say. Because before I was kind of speechless. Okay, so what we're talking about today is Donald Trump actually allegedly made a comment regarding the TPS holding Haitians here and the Nigerians saying that um, the people, the 15,000 people holding TPS is temporary protection status, those who came here after the earthquake. And um, what happened is they were allowed to stay. Now they're trying to determine whether or not they should go back home and what they're gonna go back to. And, or if they should, you know, allow them to stay a bit longer. And then um, uh, during a meeting it's reported, it's been reported by the Times actually that he allegedly, I'm saying allegedly because the White House is like adamantly denying it, saying that um, they all have AIDS. And then um, also Nigerians, um, they they all come from Africa where they live in huts and why would they want, they want to go back home now after they've been in the United States and seeing the amazing, wonderful nest that America is. Why would anyone go back home? And at first I was just like, mm, I'm not sure how to feel about that for being very insulted absolutely and um, but now I got more to say what I have to say is okay now I did say this he's known to, for saying a lot of things particularly about black people the way he's always spoken about black people is very dehumanizing and if you think and there's anything funny about it it's not calling us the blacks that is very dehumanizing it's like if you're an object you know the blacks and always group them up as thugs and thieves and whatnot and he's known to have done a lot of racist things in the past and if you still voted for him that's your right to do so but that doesn't mean I have to agree with it the blacks it's not funny it's very it's almost the same attitude that I know a lot of people refer to Hitler that's the same attitude you don't see us as humans and we're basically animals and and if you think that oh they commit all the crimes a lot of people feel the same way but there's a reason for that and that that's not necessarily true in the first place at this point I don't think there's any need to be angry about what anything anyone says about you it's your attitude of how you handle the situation my thing is don't get mad get proactive don't be angry at what he said even though I know it is you you have every right to be insulted which it is very very insulting to assume that we all have AIDS and things like that because if I'm sure if that was said about a, a different group of people it would have gotten a lot a lot more media coverage and the lack of media coverage just says something about the, the the culture that we live in and our values as Haitians, black people in particular, within this culture. So don't get mad, get proactive. And if you are a black person who is not Haitian or Nigerian and feel like this doesn't happen to you or this doesn't relate to you, you are very, very wrong. Because when they're talking about a group of people or black people or Haitians, believe me, there is nothing within that code that says that this doesn't apply to you. They assume all black people are the same. That's why when you are filling a job application or some kind of form, it says black or African American, okay? The only like clear distinction is it, there is on that form is either you're black or you're white. Everything else is in between. Are you Latino? You could be Afro-Latino. There's all kinds of Latinos, by the way. When I saw the Love and Hip Hop mess, <sighs> ignorance at, at its finest don't get angry about it run for office run for office 
support Haitian organizations because I know a lot of us Haitians, not me in particular, because I do always try to support Haitian activities or Haitian volunteering groups that's happening. Volunteer for Haitian groups. I mean, show up to cultural activities. You can ask people to see the value of your culture if you yourself don't see it or value it. Haitian culture is more than compa music and eating griot and eating legume or lado, okay? There's a lot of good Haitians who do have their own organizations and that's trying to do productive things in, within our culture. And it's tough, it's tough because we don't support, a lot of us, I'm not gonna say all of us, don't support each other. We don't support the things that's happening. I don't care what anyone says about us. It's as long as we make sure that we have enough power to take care of ourselves and we don't have to rely on them. That's what I care about. And making sure that this person doesn't have power to act within upon their feelings about me. I don't care what you say about me. As long as you don't have power to act upon it, I'm good. You can't do anything about it. So don't get angry. See the value because I know a lot of us, we seek to we don't hang out with Haitians. Oh, we don't date Haitians. We don't date Haitians. While I understand, you know, there's some things, a lot of things within our culture that does need to change. But if you don't hang out with Haitians and you value other groups of people and things like that, you are not actually helping us get better. Because in order for us to get anywhere, we have to be unified as a group. Open your own business. Seek to be greater. Seek to do more. I know a lot of I'm here we have skills to do different things i know architects who come here sadly and become janitors i know people who are in fashion who literally will make clothes for a whole neighborhood for back to school and will come here and work at sweeping the floors for somewhere else because we do not have people setting us up or helping them help your auntie help your mother help them be in bigger positions Okay, if you are here and you are here for me bashing Haitians or black people, thank you for watching, but you got the wrong kind of channel. This is not what this is. This is simply constructive criticism, and as a Haitian, it does hurt me to see that someone talks negatively, even though I know a lot of people share those feelings because the way the media has betrayed us, it's like we are some kind of charity case, and we're always in need, and things like that, when we don't even get what they claim that they're getting for us, and we are very capable of doing for ourselves. Every, almost every Haitian in Haiti is a small business owner. That's how we survive. That's literally the way it is. It's just that we don't have good leadership, but I'm not here to bash my own people. Now, you cannot make changes in a culture if you are not educated on issues. Educate yourself on issues, not just Haitian issues, but I mean black issues in general, because the reality is we are a black country and we are treated differently than other groups. Look at also models for other countries how they have set it up for their people even that they're not black countries i'm sure when americans are planning things they look at other groups that were once their enemies and see how they utilize their strategies to be successful and they implement that within their plans many times i do see that people that say that we Haitians we can't get anymore because we are not too many in this country that is that couldn't be further from the truth if you look at asians for instance, they are not big on numbers. They really aren't. But what they are is they are grouped together and they practice group economies and they set up their own system. They, they seek to own businesses. I was literally just watching this um, seminar by Les Brown, who I've really come to admire from YouTube. And he was saying that he was speaking to two Asians and he was like, how come you guys, everywhere you go, doesn't matter what country, what place, you guys always own businesses. How come? What's your secret? And the Asian guys just laughed at him and they said to him, we were thinking the same thing about your people. Everywhere we go, you guys are always at the bottom of the barrel. When we could only come to one conclusion. And that was, when you guys go anywhere, the first thing you guys go is look for employment and trying to find a job. That's not what we do. The first thing we look for is trying to start a business. And then he's like, in the meantime, what do you guys do for money and income? The agent said, whatever job we have, we all always know it's temporary and we're saving that money to do something bigger. They never go to other people's countries to look for, to look for a job. 
even if they have a job, they know that they are using that for a greater purpose, which is the same thing that we need to do. Sadly, all of our talents when we come here go, go wasted. We need to start respecting our own country. A lot of people I know, they love going to Haiti because there's so much freedom. We can do this, we can do that. But guess what? That's exactly what's wrong with our country, okay? We don't, when we are here, we walk on eggshells trying to make sure that we are not breaking the laws because we're afraid that there are no consequences. You have to be the change within your country that you seek to see. A lot of us, when we claim that Haiti not doing this, Haitians love to do that. Hate this. A lot of us, like you said, Haitians are the reason why our country will never work. But guess what? You are that Haitian if you are not implementing the change that you need to see. And if you're going over there and you're taking advantage of I know a lot of things. You're taking advantage of people. I don't even want to get into the gloomy details like because I don't want to bash my own people publicly or privately. But I know that we take advantage of our country in the worst, worst way. And I think it was, I don't know who said it, I forgot. It was an American that said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. We would rather go give our money to this business. We would rather hang out with these group of people who don't even like us, who think negatively about us, who have been so well educated on the negative things about us even though they claim just because someone has a black friend or a black girlfriend or a Haitian friend or a Haitian girlfriend doesn't mean they think positively of Haitians or black people, okay? Just because someone's married to a black person or a Haitian doesn't mean that they value Haitians as a group. You are like the one different thing in their mind, but that doesn't mean they truly care for Haitians as a group. We're most likely to support strangers doing things within our country. Let's say I'm Haitian and I'm trying to start an organization. He's just a thief. He's just trying to take advantage. But let's say a non-Haitian person come. Oh my gosh, look at how great they are. They care about us. They care about our country. When in reality, we are the ones who care about our country. Nobody will ever care about our country more than we do. Nobody will ever want us to succeed succeed the way we do even though we may not know what we're doing a lot of the time so we end up you know messing up our own thing but nobody in reality is going to have our best interest interest at heart other than us and to, to say you know Nigerians suddenly live in hut there's this idea that all black people are the same all black people are poor all black people are miseducated all black people are this all black people we're all really grouped up in one and they don't know us they don't they couldn't even put like you know if you had even if you had the map of the continent of africa they couldn't pick out nigeria if you just had an open globe with no names they couldn't even point out to haiti but they know all these things about us they don't even understand haitian cultures they don't know what we believe i think our greatest downfall as a culture is that we are a collective society living within an individualistic side of the world we are really a collectivist society and we eat together we dance together but this country is like this side of the world is like each man for themselves and we really don't do well with that so if you are Haitian Nigerian black white purple and you're offended by this what he said you have every right to be you should be okay but you can't do anything about it except vote him out of office run for office support your own people make change that way it wouldn't it won't matter if he calls us whatever what's going to matter is that he doesn't have the power to act upon it and we would we won't need to be here and be disrespected by people who don't even like us in the first place so that was my take on it okay you guys happy saturday happy new year again and i will talk to you next saturday sandra said what at gmail.com for your questions facebook.com for slash sandra said what instagram sandra nico and what else twitter sandra underscore normal i will talk to you in the near future bye bye